GCSE maths factorizing on three different levels in roughly 90 seconds. Let's go. Okay, guys, here we're gonna have three different expressions, I would say, of increasing difficulty to factorize. Let's see what we can do. First off, factorize 6x plus 9. Now, we need to find a number which goes into both 6x and 9. 3 is going to be a number which goes into 6x and 9. And what do we multiply by 3 to get 6x? We multiply it by 2x. What do we multiply by 3 to get 9? We multiply it by 3. So we can write 6x plus 9 as 3 times by 2x plus 3. Next, we want to factorize 4x plus 16 plus 8y. Guys, again, we're going to need a number which goes into all of these. 4 is going to be a number which goes into all of them. Now, what do you multiply by 4 to get 4x? You multiply it by x. What do you multiply by 4 to get 16? You multiply it by 4. Finally, what do you multiply by 4 to get 8y? You're going to multiply it by 2y. So we can write 4x plus 16 plus 8y as 4 times by x plus 4 plus 2y. Finally, we want to factorize this time x squared plus 7x plus 12. Hold up, this one's a little bit different. Why? Because here we have a quadratic expression. We have an x squared term, a term in x, and then a regular number on the end. So we're going to need to write this as a pair of double brackets. We need to find two numbers which multiply to give 12 and add to make 7. That's going to be 4 and 3. So we can write this as a pair of double brackets with x's at the front, an x at the front of here, and an x at the front of here. We're going to have here plus 4 and plus 3 because, guys, remember, 4 times by 3 gives us 12, and 4 plus 3 gives us our 7. That, guys, is going to be how we factorize these three expressions.